we'd get done at like 10, 11 o'clock at night, and then I'd con him into coming in the control room with me and listening to some things, and, and I'd say, so how do you think they got this sound, and what do you think they did here? And he would share his expertise with me, and then I would just think about it and start developing things. Then I used to go to the, in the mic locker, and I started looking at different microphones, and very early on, I you'll love this part, I assessed in my mind the microphones sound like they look. Little pointy pencil mic sound, yeah. little pointy pencil So I found these Telefunk and 251s and I said, what are these for? And he said, well, I used them for orchestras. I said, have you ever used them on drums? He goes, no, God, no, they're, they're, they're you know, too delicate. I said, but, you know, these drummers are studio guys, you know, Russ yeah. Kunkel's not going to hit a mic. Yeah. So I said, let's see what it sounds like. So we mic'd up a whole kit with tellies. All the toms and the overheads were all telephone. And that's where that tom-tom sound well, see, came from.